Hello friends, today I'll show you how to work with a throwing dummy. We call him differently, everybody. We call it Pyotr Alexeyevich and we love to throw him. What should you know about the dummy? Some people underestimate work with it. I can tell you right away. You can do fast work or hard work. Not every partner can tolerate hard throws. But in order to do it fast, you have to do it hard and fast. So if your sparring partner doesn't like to fall, you can always grab a dummy and use it. Also, dummy will make you stronger. Sometimes coach says, do this workload. Most people do it and then run. Only champions leave the gym last. And often it happens that you're the last guy, one in the gym, and you want to work some more, and dummy will help you. So coach told you 150 throws, you did it, and then stayed, and another 150 with a dummy. And you became twice strong. Why Sambi is the stronger Sambo, Jiu Jitsu, or in Jiu Jitsu, freestyle guy in freestyle wrestling? Because it's hard to switch and be a top guy. Because tactics and strategy and grips are different in all arts. So you have a dummy, I recommend if you do Sambo or Judo, even Jiu Jitsu, put a jacket or a gi on it so you can feel the gripping freestyle guys once they switch to sambo it's hard for them to wrestle often people ask questions how to wrestle a freestyle guy in sambo i'll tell you after i get him dressed look beautiful our Pyotr alexeyevich has short arms that's why i have to tuck the sleeves if you want to know how to tie a belt if you want a video, I can, I can video, I can shoot a video. So frequent questions, how to wrestle against a freestyle guy in Sambo. The good side of freestyle guys, they can know, they, they know how to do a wrestling in tight quarter or double legs and single legs. Tight wrestling on somebody very close. So the best defense is to negate his arms and we negate by grabbing sleeves and lift them up. That's it. We're, I saw it a million times, all freestyle guys get negated. If you let go and trying to catch him, he will take you down. So the first thing, sleeves. So now we know, dummy is an awesome tool, by yourself when nobody here, Often I come to the gym, gym is empty, but I want to throw something, I do throw dummy. Do all the throws you learned. Or, if your throw is super complex, do something else, of course. I frequently work on hip toss. Two grips and two steps, squat and throw. Important, do your hold down. Sometimes people are soft and gentle and if you fall on top, they moan, it, it hurts and you're trying to dose your force. But with a dummy, you can do it as hard as you can because at the competition, nobody's going to be feel sorry for you. Got the grip. And use your imagination. You can imagine it's a live person and he's moving. Maybe you fake him out a little bit, some kind of hook and then a throw. Pin, submission. And I love over the chest throw. You can throw under hook or between legs. My dummy is low, so I'm using under hook. And of course, obliged to all the rules and properness of technique. Step in, under hook and throw. We threw him. And a pin. Also, I did a video, front sweep. Uh, and it's a hard throw, so we use crash pads. So that's why you can do it on a dummy. Dummy doesn't complain. <laughs> so 
so people write to my Instagram how to find a good dummy for a child. If you don't follow my Instagram, do follow. In the beginning, of course, get a light one, lighter than a child, so child can get stronger. Makar is 27 kilograms and this dummy is 14 kgs. So it's a good one for kids. And kids don't get apprehension, don't get hurt, so dummy for kids, awesome, I recommend. I have all sorts of kids throwing dummies, we all throw them. So we started with this, through, pinned, then Makar became stronger, I feel he's ready for a bigger dummy, this one is 24 kgs, light for me, for Makar, perfect. Makar gets your grip under the arm, get the jacket grip, get and twist your grip, you know, good, good boy, under hook, two steps. Your goal when you throw, pull with your arms and legs change levels by squatting. Squat and pull with arms. One more time. Good. Now put your feet together. You spread your stance too much. In throws, especially forward going throws, you want to spare your knees. So don't sit like this. Too much over the workload. Knees are parallel according to your feet. Two steps, squat, good job. Use any throw, that's my recommend. Improvise, imagine. Your goal is to learn to imagine like it's your opponent during the competition. Perhaps he's short and you know him and you know, want to do leg take down. So tight, get tight, duck and dump, double leg. Or even over the head I can throw. Make sure you use your leg to kick him over without killing somebody next to you. Over the head throw like this. That's why there is no limits. By a dummy, so many of them, different sorts, with long arms, with legs, without legs. But one more reminder, speed is good to work on during work on a dummy. Or if you don't have a sparring partner or they run fast, dummy will help you. In the next video, I'll show you how to do it on the ground, how to work with a dummy with an arm bar. Make it automatical in certain situations. That's why, subscribe to my channel if you're not, and wait for next video, we'll work on the mat.